y'all, I'm Izzy Frank with the Seeds to Success Louisiana Farm to School program. Welcome to our new video series, Sustainable School and Home Gardening. In this series, we'll walk you through all the steps between planning, building, and maintaining your very own garden. In this month's video, we'll be exploring seasonality and fall gardening specific to Louisiana. Fall gardening in Louisiana is tricky, being that our weather can be unpredictable. We tend to have mild winters, a few cold snaps, and often we have a freeze after the first of the year. To be successful, we wanna focus on cool season crops, crops that grow best during cooler temperatures, shorter day length. We want crop cultivars that have been developed specifically for our growing region, for our conditions here in Louisiana. You can find recommended crop varieties on the Seeds to Success website under the Seeding Louisiana tab, and then you go to the Seeds to Sow tab. Under our planting guide, you can find information about when to plant certain crops, whether in the spring, in the fall, and how long you will need. To ensure success, it's important to follow these guidelines. They're based on research. In Louisiana, we plant crops in the fall so that they come out before the first freeze hits. For example, let's say I want to grow a winter vegetable like broccoli. I will look at the Seeds to Sow tab on our website to determine the best variety of broccoli. After that, I'll go to the planting guide to determine when is the best time to plant my broccoli, when to make my transplants. So, what makes a crop a cool or warm season crop? Temperature and day length are going to be the main factors affecting plant growth. So when selecting crops for the winter, you should offer crops that grow best at cooler temperatures and a shorter day length, ones that can tolerate a light frost. Cool season crops often germinate, grow to a harvestable size, and perform well in cooler temperatures. Here in Louisiana, we often look for heat tolerant varieties too, even in the winter, due to these high temperatures that we experience during the winter. For instance, lettuce, it's a cool season crop, and it doesn't germinate well with soil temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And high temperatures often will stimulate bolting or seed stock formation. This is whenever they send up their seed stock, but then the rest of the plant tastes really bitter. It's not really edible anymore, not palatable. So usually we'll choose these lettuce cultivars or other cultivars that are listed with heat tolerance. We need to start thinking about our cool season garden. Crops that we grow in the cool season can be grown in transplant trays or directly seeded into the soil. Crops that are easy to direct seed would be root crops like carrots, beets, radishes, turnips, and some folks like to direct seed other things like lettuce or arugula, various greens. But those can also be grown in transplant trays. Cool season crops that we typically grow in transplant trays are going to be Swiss chard, lettuce, and the bigger crops in the brassica family like broccoli, cabbage, kohlrabi, and our greens. Many of these crops are in our Harvest of the Month series, and you can grow crops that coordinate with your classroom curriculum. Out of these crops, some are easier to grow than others. Cabbage and lettuce are fairly easy to grow with minimal pest or disease issues, whereas broccoli and cauliflower, they take more time, so they have more opportunity to encounter issues with pests and disease. For specific information on crop growing, such as planting dates, and recommended planting methods, check out the Seeds to Success Louisiana Sustainable Planting Guide. It can be found on our website under the Seeding Louisiana tab and then under the Seeds to Grow tab. Take some time to figure out which crops you wanna grow and how many you need. It's always best to grow a few extra plants than the number you are actually going to plant in case one needs to be replaced. We hope this helps you start thinking about your fall garden. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next month's video where we talk about getting your garden started.